and the amount I was earning began increasing to about $10 to $20 a day. Then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, one of my videos got magically blessed by the almighty YouTube algorithm, and in a single day, I made $171 <laughs> in ad revenue. So of course, I continued, and during my first full year of posting videos in 2017, I earned What's hilarious is the guy was obviously already rich. Look where he lives, right? He lives in this mansion-like house. He's got all this shit already, so he already was set up. I mean, I don't know if that's his house or his parents' house or whatever, right? But it's for obvious he already had a bunch of shit in order to make these kind of videos, so. He cheated. He's a fucking cheater. A blatant fucking cheater. 100% blatant cheating. The views, and that translated into a higher income. And throughout the entire year of 2018, yep. the channel made 170940 My YouTube channel has never made $170,945. Not even fucking close. Like, not even <clears throat> close <laughs> like <laughs> like holy crap holy freaking crap that's only his second year he had a youtube channel he made that much money so I, here's the thing I, when you, if you watch a video like this listen i'm not saying anything negative about this guy or his content i don't even know what he does okay but you cannot take this story as a case that is something that you want to do like so this is the monster exception to the rule what happened to this guy likely what happened was this guy had so much shit to make videos on because he's rich he already had a, a, a giant garage with a bunch of high-end shit you know what i'm saying he probably made car videos he probably did all these videos about things that he was privileged enough to be able to do in which case he made money on it you see what i'm saying the joe average person is not going to be able to make that kind of content that people would be interested in and you're not going to be able to blow up like this guy did you know so please don't take this as an example of a success story that can be replicated by you if you work hard i just want you to understand this guy is blessed he already had a nice life before he became a youtuber and then as a youtuber the algorithm blesses him and he never left this is a success story based on luck, luck, luck. And yeah, I'm not saying there's no hard work and the content wasn't interesting. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying you have to understand this is the exception to the rule. For every Graham Stefan or whatever, there's probably 4,000 people who tried to do exactly what he did and failed, you know, for various different reasons. So understand that. You, you have to really like hit the lottery for this to be successful. And... I hope that he's not trying to portray this as, oh, if you do this, it'll happen too, right? If people are really motivated to subscribe to my Dark Side Phil Twitch channel at twitch.tv forward slash Dark Side Phil because they want to see me topless in the shower again, I guess I'll do it. I, I mean, you know, no skin off my back. Who gives a shit, right? Seriously, who cares? Um, it's not a big deal. Joke, <laughs> but I was able to start my second channel, The Graham Stephan Show, to answer subscriber questions and review the spending habits of millennials. From doing that, throughout 2019, the main channel earned one million one hundred and forty-one thousand two hundred and thirty. And again, why? The only <laughs> why was he able to do this? Because he was already rich. He already had the means to do the content that was interesting to watch because someone's rich and they're sharing that life with you. Boom. Within three years, he's making a million dollars on his YouTube channel, right? Of course, we're. I think we're all jealous, right? If only we all had that. If only we all had the means to do that. And again, I'm not hating on the guy. This guy seems charismatic, seems like a good public speaker, and I would assume his content's probably quite good. He's. This is actually an informative, entertaining video. But I'm just saying, again, this is the exception to the rule. I mean, I'll be honest, just like any other normal human, yes, am I jealous of certain people and of people who are successful and whatever? Of course I am. Of course I'm going to have jealousy. That's a natural human emotion for those who have more than you. You're always going to have that natural kind of jealousy of those who maybe have, you know, been more successful or things like that. If you had that, if you're going, when I started on YouTube, to give you guys some perspective, literally there was no one like this guy, okay? The people who were on YouTube were people who had passion and talent and wanted to share that with the world, but didn't have the means. This guy's already rich. If he wanted to, he could probably do professional level shows and finance them. You know what I'm saying? Like, he already has this. But YouTube was supposed to be the means by which if you don't have that means, you can now share that talent and that passion with the world. And hopefully, this is your tube, your TV. People watch your channel, fall in love with you, and now you can actually get noticed for it. Even back then, it wasn't like make a living doing it. It was just get noticed for it, get some notoriety. Remember kids like Justin Bieber? He didn't make a living on YouTube. He got noticed on YouTube and then became a, a musician based on that. You see what I'm saying? 
But now it's like, it, it almost seems to me, I hate to say it, that you need to go into it being rich or having the backing to do it to be successful. No one can just go into YouTube with nothing anymore and really make it. Or if you do, you are you're the you are the exception. You're the lucky person. You know what I'm saying? People became so fucking jealous and just angry that here's a YouTuber who doesn't conform to all the norms of what a YouTuber should be doing to be popular on YouTube and he's outspoken and he doesn't put up with bullshit from anyone. I'm sure there's a lot of people we've watched do these skits and stuff that don't have anything and they make these skits, the skits are funny, and then they get viral popularity and good on them. That's excellent. That's that some of the skits we watch on this show every week is kind of the exact definition of viral talent that what YouTube was designed to do many years ago. But for every one or two of those, there's someone like him. And again, there's nothing wrong with him, but I'm just saying, this is not what YouTube started as. This was not the intention of what it was supposed to be. Oh, if you're already rich, now become richer. Because people want to see what the lifestyles of rich and famous are like. And, you know, people are saying this guy, he was a finance and a real estate YouTuber. So there you go. Already rich, already into it, can then make content on it and becomes even more rich and popular doing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's pretty crazy. But good for him. I'm not hating on this guy whatsoever. Good for him and his success. Um, certainly someone like me, <laughs> nothing like this was ever possible, you know. I came in at a time when the gaming and the commentary thing was not non-existent. I came in at a time when doing the kind of improv commentary blew up. I got lucky. And then you guys have seen my history and what happened with me. I mean, we went over it with Down the Rabbit Hole and everything last year. So, you know, now I'm, I'm lucky to still be able to make a living doing what I do. You know what I mean? Like, I'm happy that I can still do this and even make a living doing it. But I'll never blow up like this guy, no matter how much I hard I work or whatever. If I was filthy rich, and I was able to throw money at a wall, I'd probably be able to make viral videos overnight. But I don't have that, you know? What can you do? They're so angry that I do this for a living, and they have to go work their shitty fucking nine to five job or whatever it is. Anyway, that was a fascinating video. So within three years of this guy being a YouTuber, he's making a million dollars on his channel. That's just insane. I mean, that's absolutely nuts. Okay. Well, I think this is a good time to split the video. We still got about an hour left, everyone. Thank you for watching DSP versus the Internet. Speaking of which, if you want to support this channel because I'm not a giant billionaire, uh, you can do many things like liking the videos, leaving comments, becoming a channel member. And thank you to those who are watching the show and enjoying. We got about an hour left this week's show, so thanks a lot, and I'll be right back. But you're right, it's an element of jealousy, which I've said all over the years. It's always been an element of jealousy. Just watch the negative videos about me. They're oozing jealousy. How could this guy still be popular when he did this and he did that and he sucks at this game and he sucks at that game? I don't need to be Mr. Popular and be making a million dollars and getting hundreds of thousands of views on every video I put on YouTube.